Yeah, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Alright guys, so today's topic, now we here, we moved to Connecticut, is basically, hey, stop looking for junior developer jobs, period. <laughs> Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, CodingPhase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Alright, so to start talking about this, what I'm going to say is you're limiting yourself as a developer to just say, hey, I'm looking just for junior developer positions. You will be surprised how many jobs are out there willing to hire you just because you applied, right? Just because you got the skills. You know, it's very rare to find online. Try to search yourself. Look online where it says junior developer position or junior front end guy, junior back end guy. Guys, that's like a unicorn. That's like finding a unicorn out here. You know what I mean? So it's like, what are you going to do? Are you just going to stand still? wait until the day that somebody decides to be like hey we're gonna add a junior position to this job no just start applying stop worrying about if you're going to be able to do the job stop worrying about are they gonna hire you no you will find out when you go to the interview right you're gonna be surprised usually when a company puts out we're looking for a junior developer. It means they already try to search for a senior. They already try to search for a mid-level. They already try to search for any type of developer out there, right? And then they're like, you know what, man? We can't find nobody to give us an extra hand. So let's just put in junior position, a uh, junior developer to see what we find. That's one case. Another case is, hey, they don't want to pay a mid-level to a senior level developer. But you who come in and you apply to it, you might get a chance to get hired you know what I mean so just apply man stop limiting yourself to just showing up to this uh, junior position you don't need it you know to be honest with you that's why I tell you guys build your portfolio so you don't have to rely so much on stuff like that like hey does it say junior can I get the job nah don't worry about that you know what I mean like if you could do the job, you got the portfolio, you got the right, uh, you know, applications, you've done everything from, you know, from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you've dealt with the back end, you went in in Node.js, you tried Node, you tried uh, PHP, you tried Ruby, you know MySQL, you know MongoDB. You don't have to be an expert in all of them, but you have to, you know, if you have the idea of just like getting your feet wet in it, like most likely you're going to get hired. Right? You gotta understand this. One thing that you're gonna notice a lot of times, no matter how much you know, when you go to a job, you don't know anything. <laughs> I'll be honest, you just don't know because number one, you don't know how their setup is. Number two, you don't know how the deployment system is. Number three, you don't know what framework they're using. Sometimes they tell you, hey, we use React, but they use React completely different. So no matter what, you're still gonna have to go through the process of getting trained. You know what I mean? Now, as far as training, it's really good to, to go into a company and hit the ground running. And when I say hit the ground running is you understand all the concepts. You understand what's going on. You never want to be in a company where they're like, oh, man, you know, uh, we're going to have to train this guy for three months because he don't know anything. That means they messed up in the hiring process, and that means you oversold yourself. Okay? You never want to be in a company that you basically come in and swindle your way in because at some point they're going to fire you. You know what I mean? Like usually when somebody comes in as a junior developer or just a regular developer, let's say. Let's take away that title, junior developer. Just a developer, right? Somebody who comes in and got hired. We are expecting for that person to know the basics, know the concepts, be able to pick up on technologies like this. We don't want to come in there and be like, hey, man, damn, we're going to have to teach this person. You know, let's say, for example, if they use functional programming. You don't need to be an expert in functional programming, but understand the concepts. Because everything else, they're going to show it to you how they do it in their process. But if you don't understand the concepts of it, now they have to go in there and teach you the concepts, teach you the training, teach you how to do the deployment, teach you how to do everything. You know? So it's like, stop worrying so much about, hey man, is this a, a junior level position? Stop worrying about that. If, like, let's say, for example, you went through my website, right? You already did 
um, HTML, CSS. You, you knock that out. You cool. I could give you a design and you could build that, right? Cool. You're perfect already, right? You could definitely get a, a front end position. Nowadays, they need more, a little bit more of JavaScript because, you know, that's where the world that we live in. So if they come in and tell you, hey, man, do you understand Angular? You've never touched Angular, but you've done React. So you understand how front end frameworks work. So you already got the concepts. However they do Angular, they're going to teach it to you over there. And it takes like a week, a week or two, maybe. That's it. Most likely, all the components are already there, so you could look exactly how other developers already did it. You follow their boiler code, you know, it's like you literally could go in there and just copy and paste it and then change it how accordingly how you need it, right? So, you have to actually go in there and take your time, man. Don't worry about getting a junior position. Just apply to it. Stop worrying about, is this job like a junior level position? Like, no, don't worry about that. That's a way to limit yourself. And that's a way to actually cut people out. You know, have you noticed that, that there's barely any jobs that say junior level position? A lot of times people just don't want to deal with that. So they cut that out. They're like, okay, we don't want to deal with training somebody three months, right? Even though you might not have experience at a job, but you have projects that you've built. You have things that you can show for and be like, hey man, anything that you could throw at me, I can come in there and learn it. You give me a week, however is your process, I can come in and build it. People, unless they're looking specifically, like let's say in a, in a situation where they're looking for a, uh, you know, a React expert, right? They're looking for somebody that is an uh, expert in that field, right? But if they say, hey, we're looking for a front-end developer, like, they're not looking for the expert. They're looking for somebody who comes in and could pick up what they have and, you know, become productive. That's about it. So, that's what this video is all about, guys. Stop worrying about, is this a junior position? Stop worrying about, can I do this? Can I not do this? Can I get hired? Should I even apply? Just apply. Let's see how they call you. Let's see how it, they react to your, your projects. Let's see how they like your resume. And another thing, too. Uh, somebody sent me an email like worry about man. I don't know how to how to write my cover letter guys Your cover letter is your projects your cover letter is your portfolio to be honest with you When people used to send me you know cover letters and and stuff like that like I don't even look at that I look at their website the person's website is like okay johnsmith.net right I go to johnsmith.net and if their website looks horrible if the the type of website he's worked on looks super outdated that's it. I throw that, that resume out the window. You know what I mean? And that's just how it is. But if the person comes in and, and you know, they have the right projects, everything looks good, the design looks good, the type of projects that they're building is something useful, something that we could put in, you know, and say, hey, this guy did an e-commerce site. So now on this website, which is our business, an e-commerce store, right, he could come in and, and, and pick up what we already have here. We don't want to come in and train this person on how products work, how the cart system works. Like, you know what I mean? Like, those things you should know. So, yeah, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Dad. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you go to the website, guys. We have a, an amazing chat room. We already have a great community. In like two days, we already got, I think it's like... I don't know, we got mad people. I can't even tell you the right number right now. But we have a lot of people that have already signed up. And guys, just when you subscribe to my website uh, for you know the monthly or the yearly or the lifetime, guys, you gotta understand, you supporting me, you supporting this content that I'm giving you guys here. And not only that, it's not like you donating. It's more like, hey Joe, like we holding you accountable to give us good quality content and give us good, um, you know, good advice because, hey, I just helped you out. I'm at the same time, I'm getting courses, so nothing is there like, hey, this is a donation. No, nah, this is really like, I'm working for you guys. So yeah, man, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and show some love, man. Leave a comment. We're going to make this community very great, okay? So we out of here.